Aloha aina, palikua na ko o lau ka papa o moku hina kasa mana mana. Ia o kalamo kana ni heo. Kaho aloha aina, William Davenport kia. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a series, uh, a little bit of a talk story, kuka kuka, because there have been some seriously some centuries of uh, some some bad things that have happened to our peoples, and and I think it's really easy for us to focus on the negative parts of it. And I really wanted to focus uh, our way, our people's way, is that we uphold the light, we uphold the people who are doing really good work, and and so. One of the things that we need to do is we need to work together. And I'd like to take this opportunity and a chance to really uh, to talk story and uphold a good friend of mine over here, William Davenport. And we're going to talk a little bit more. There's some other videos that we're going to have posted. But he, to me, is a good example of a good ally. And uh, William, you mind sharing a little bit, like really quickly, where you're born and mm -hmm. what your name is? Yep, sure. I'm William Davenport. Um, I was born in Mechanicsburg or Wormleysburg, Pennsylvania. It's near Harrisburg. Um, and I've lived in Vermont for about 20 some years. Awesome. And so, what uh, the thing is that, that um, there's a couple of things that I wanted to share while William was here. About why I consider, and we're going to talk to some other folks as well, why we consider him to be a good ally and somebody that we definitely want to have on our side. It's not about prejudice, it's about understanding that, uh, that sometimes in the desire to help out that there are uh, allies sometimes center themselves and actually start uh, continuing to con the hurt that goes on in their well-intentioned state, um, not really fully understanding how uh, their help sometimes actually continues to hurt us. Uh, and there's two things that I want to share about William of why I consider him to be a great ally and why I love him very much and he's a great hoa. And the first of which is uh, is is that he was invited, we, he was part of, we, were, we did the Medicare Council at Standing Rock and um, and during that time, he helped organize the Medicare Council mental wellness component. And while he was there, uh, he really focused on trying to honor and uphold in a really positive and a really good way the indigenous voices and the indigenous leadership while providing really great support. And the thing that stood out a lot to me was the fact that uh, there was an indigenous mental wellness gathering that happened. And he was out of, there was like about 30 different people that gathered and talked. And he was actually the only white ally that was invited. And it was the fact that he was invited that really stood out to me. But the thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that afterwards, he, you never heard about it. You never heard about it. And that, um, the reason why that's so important to me is that so many of the allies that we have, they, um, they make it about them. And whenever we have these really, you know, when you get brought into these circles, even that word, that trust happens, then, then they kind of lose themselves a little bit, you know? They lose themselves in that space, and, um, and then even that, they become, they make it about themselves. And so it's not for, even our own peoples, we understand the cultural necessity is. We don't brag about ourselves. It's our responsibility of our relatives to do so. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you didn't do that, to me, spoke volumes. <laughs> and, and that's why I continue to tell the story, because William doesn't. The second thing I really aloha about William is, is the first time that we actually communicated, we got into an argument. <laughs> and that is another thing that a lot of allies don't really understand. So I don't want you to necessarily, that's not the argument that really made the difference. You remember that? You remember that conversation? It was really the fact that he was very confident and very clear in his own self and his own pillars of his ethics, his own clear understanding of what his own moral code was. It was pa'a. He did not need me to validate him. He wasn't apologetic about who he was. He wasn't, um, he wasn't somebody that needed to prove himself to me because he was really pa'a in his own um, sense of self and he knew his worth without being ho'okana, which was arrogant, you know, high up. And uh, because of that, 
you know, and he wasn't insulting. He was still very kind, you know, even mm. in that difference of opinion mm. that had happened. And I don't think, and we don't want you to argue, you know, we don't want you guys to be fighting us all the time, but we do want you to be very clear in your own self. And we don't want you to compromise yourself. And if you become a yes man, if you become somebody that just says yes, yes, yes all the time, and we never see you, we never see the person, we don't see your medal, we don't see what really makes you who you are, then we start worrying about it. Yeah. So this is some time right now. So I have William in, like introducing himself and he's gonna be able to share more later on. But this is gonna be our chance to be able to mahalo him. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to add really quickly? I mean, I just want to give host and a wonderful human and um, your whole community for just providing a space for me to be here. And um, you guys have, over the week that I've been here, taught me such a deeper um, layer and understanding of what love is. So overwhelmed um, with love right now. That's the, basically <laughs> where I'm at right now. Um, it takes a lot of work um, to, I guess, be an ally and to, um, you know, constantly be in that process of discernment. And you have to be ready to feel deeply into things that hurt um, and to make some space for the information that's held there and to communicate with vulnerability speak your own truth in your own heart and you know know that when we speak from our heart and we're honest and we have integrity that it cuts through a lot of barriers um, and you know you guys have created a space for me to you know to be authentic and to heal and to grow it's because they're awesome, it's they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm grateful for it so I'm growing a lot I'm growing a lot and with everyone and stay in touch with you Kalama and I think that's about it <laughs> <laughs> okay aloha aina everybody we'll see you guys on the front lines ahuyong